Hello everyone, it's Frank here and welcome back to this channel once again. Please, if you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel as via audio. Thanks so much for coming back. So today I'll be showing you how to design a wedding invitation card in Photoshop and this is coming up. So without wasting my time, let's jump into Photoshop and then let's get something started. Okay, so here in Photoshop, to create your new document, go to File, New, to create your new document and I'm going to set this paper size to A3. So I will select print and then go for a3 okay and then i'll hit on create to create my new document all right so i'll quickly go to view to select fit on screen and the shortcut is ctrl plus zero for this paper site to be fitted to this screen all right so i'll quickly jump to my notepads and select the color code for um this work all right so ctrl c the whole thing has been copied and then i'll move to my color adjustment area and then i will add a solid color to it so ctrl v to paste um the color code here all right so i'll move to my resources and add a background image to this um work so this is um an image i have grabbed from google so i'll drag and drop the whole thing in photoshop like this and then hit on ok all right and then i'll go to the blending options and then i will change this to you know um let's try soft light so i'll decrease the fill to 82 percent okay so i only type 82 percent and then i'll hit on enter and then the next thing to do is to go for my resources and then add a couple of tests to this so i will select the first one and then ctrl c to copy the whole thing hit on c to activate my test tool and then left click ctrl v to paste what had been copied ctrl a select everything and then i'll open up my toggle character like this okay and then i'll make sure the whole thing will be decreased to the design size i want the whole thing so okay so let's maintain something of this kind for the main time and then i'll hit on okay or accept the whole thing in photoshop all right ctrl a select everything and then make sure um special invitation is centered use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top something like this okay i'll still go back to my resources and then add a couple of you know images to this so i have downloaded this ring from google and i'll drag and drop the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure i will resize this to you know fit my documents hit on enter drag the whole thing on top like this okay so ctrl a the whole will be copied and then i will center the ring ctrl d to deselect and then i will right click on the special invitation layer and then use my arrow key to drag the whole thing downward like this okay all right so the next thing i will do is to go to my notepad again and then start to copy this all right so ctrl c to copy the whole thing and then i'll hit on t to what paste what has been copied already so ctrl a to select everything and then i'll go for a font called montserrat all right so i'll go for montserrat and then make sure i will change the size from regular to something bold and then i'll make sure the whole thing is in caps all right and then i will decrease the whole thing to the size i want it all right so i will accept the whole thing in photoshop like this all right so ctrl a and then i will center this as well ctrl d to d select and then drag the whole thing on top like this so i'll hit on t again to activate my test tool like this and then hit on i ctrl a select everything and then i'll go for a font called vintage decorative yes so i will select this font and then make sure the whole thing will be changed into you know small letters and then ctrl t select everything and then i will open the whole thing up like this and then i will drag the whole thing underneath my special invitation ctrl t again to resize it a little bit and then i'll save the whole thing in photoshop by hitting on enter on your keyboard so ctrl a select it and then make sure it is centered ctrl d to deselect now right click on the together layer and then use your arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this all right so i will again right click on this layer and then go to my blending options to add a couple of 
um, gradient color to this so this is actually the gradient i have used for this particular flyer so I, when i double click on this i have the color codes here already which you can use to you know work or if you want to follow suit with me all right so this is the other one as well okay and then i'll hit on ok again hit on enter so this is what i have so control j on your keyboard to duplicate your first layer and then hit on t to activate your text to control a select everything and then move to my notepad and then i'll start with down so all right so i'll select down so and then i'll copy it by hitting on ctrl c ctrl v to paste down so here and then i'll make sure that the whole thing is not in the gradient color so i'll only come to the gradient color and then off the effect all right so i'll drag the whole thing here like this all right i'll now go back to my special invitation layer hold on alt left click and then drag the whole thing down like this and then i'll hit on t ctrl a select everything and then i'll start or i'll still go for my notepad and then go for Emmanuel. so ctrl a select it and then ctrl c to copy a so ctrl v and i'll paste the whole thing here but this time around, i want the first letter of the Emmanuel to be in caps so i will have this like this all right so ctrl t to transform the whole thing to something big like this and then i'll hit on enter so i will have this here like this so ctrl a and then i will center the manual and then ctrl d to deselect all right i'll go for the down so layer and then drag the whole thing on top of the emmanuel all right so i will have this there like that all right so i'll go back to my together layer i'll right click on it and then i'll copy the layer star and then come for my emmanuel layer and then right click on it again to paste what i been copied from the layer okay so the next thing to do is to hit on my text tool again and then i'll left click to activate it and then hit on end so i'll have this here Control a select everything and then change the font from great vibes to a font called Montserrat and then change the size to something bold like this okay so i'll have this ctrl a select everything and then make sure the end is centered ctrl d to deselect use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing underneath my emmanuel so i'll have this here i'll go for my rectangular tool to draw a very nice rectangle here like this okay so just take your time when doing all this stuff i'll have this day and then i'll change the color from stroke to a whitish color so i'll have this color here and then i'll go for my move to drag the whole thing to fit the document so i'll have this day right click on the layer to rasterize it like this and then i'll move to filter blur and then i'll go for what motion blur so i'll have this so i'll only be playing around with this and see the one that will work perfectly for me like the one i've shown you guys on the thumbnail so i'll have this like this okay so let's try something like this and i'll, I'll hit on ok use my arrow keys again drag the whole thing here all right so ctrl plus j make a copy and then move the whole thing here as well so i'll have this year and then this year too so i will again go to my notepad and then um copy um aj so ctrl plus c the whole thing has been copied and then hit on t to activate your text tool and then ctrl v to paste it all right so i will set the whole thing in photoshop like this okay so ctrl a select it and then make sure the whole thing is centered all right so i'll go for my emmanuel's layer and then hold on alt left click and drag the whole thing downward like this and then hit on c to activate your text tool and then we'll go for precious okay so we'll be having this all right so ctrl a select everything and then make sure the whole thing is not in caps and then i'll finally come for my p and then make sure it is in caps like this 
all right so control t to make a little bit of transformation to this and then hit on enter control a select everything and then make sure the pressures is centered and then control d to d select use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this all right so i'll be having this there and then i'll come for my edges layer and then drag the whole thing on top of the pressure so i will have this there all right so this is exactly what i want that all right so i'll move to my notepad again and then copy this as well so Control c copy the whole thing and then go for my adjacent layer by holding on alt left click and then dragging i'll have this and then i'll select everything and then hit on Control v and i'll paste the whole thing there all right use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this so Control a select everything and then make sure it is centered Control d to d select and then make sure to resize it to the size you want the whole thing all right so i'll go for my stylish eye and then hit on Control j to copy the whole thing and then i'll have this here too so Control a and then make sure your stylish eye is centered and then Control d to d select all right so i'll still go for my notepad and then copy the date and the venue and everything Control c to copy the whole thing and then go for my request layer and then hold on alt left click and drag in Control a select everything like this and then paste what has been copied okay I will select only the date and then make sure I will use the yellowish color here like this. All right, so let's move on. I will accept the whole thing in Photoshop and then make sure the whole thing is centered. So Control A and then I will center the whole thing and then Control D to deselect and then use my arrow keys to drag it on top like this okay so i'll still come for my eye copy and then control j drag the whole thing underneath like this and then control a the whole thing has been copied and then use my arrow keys sorry control a the whole thing has been copied and then i'll make sure it is centered control d to deselect and then i'll use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing there all right so let's go back to our notepad and then let's go for the rsvp i don't even know the meaning of this but that is what i've been seeing on flyers all right so hit on t again and then activate your text tool and then control v to paste the whole thing control a don't worry i know what is happening already and then change the font from this to Montserrat, and then we we'll go for bold this time round. all right so we we'll have this like this all right accept the whole thing in photoshop Control A, select everything and then make sure it is centered. And then Control D to D, select. All right, so we we'll have this there. And then make sure you change the whole thing into caps, something like this. All right, so Control J, make a duplicate and then use your arrow keys to drag the whole thing down like this. Okay, so I'll go back to my resources and then add a couple of images to this particular document so i'll drag and drop um these flowers into photoshop like this and then make sure the whole thing has been resized hit on enter now move the whole thing here like this okay so Control t again to make a little bit of transformations to this and i'll hit on enter something like this all right so what will happen is that i will now go for my rsvp layer and then i'll group it by ho holding on ctrl g to group the whole thing use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this and then come for my flower and then drag the whole thing like this so i'll be having this there all right i'll right click on a layer and then i'll move to my blending options and then i'll add a color overlay to this so i am using a white color as my color overlay so control j to make a duplicate drag the whole thing here control c to make a transformation to this and then i'll hit on enter all right so i'll have this 
like this okay use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this Control t to make a transformation again okay something like this and then i hit on enter use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing like this okay so i'll be having this this is exactly what i've shown you guys on the tab no all right so i'll again go for my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice rectangle here like this okay so i'll be having this like this and then in this case i am not going to leave the whole thing in fill color so i'll go for a stroke color and this time around i'm going to use a white color for it and then change this to you know something like this let's try like this and see okay so i will accept the whole thing in photoshop this is too small so i will again increase the size to something like this all right so right click on the layer to rasterize it and then i'll go for my rectangular marquee tool and then i'll start to cut some places off like this so i'll hit on delete Control d to deselect and then i'll come for the down one here like this and then i'll hit on delete as well and then Control d to d select all right so i'll come for this flower again Control t and then i'll make a transformation to that all right so the final thing to do is to go for my ring the layer one and then Control j to make a duplicate drag the whole thing to the center of the document and then Control a and then make sure the whole thing is centered Control d to d select and then Control t to make a transformation to this so i will have this there and then i will now move to my blending options and then change this to luminosity and then i will change the color fill to you know nine percent and then i'll hit on ok or enter on your keyboard all right so this is exactly what i want all right so guys i want to thank you all for having time to watch this video and may god wish bless you all and i am out